Hi, this is Tom Mullaney, Instructional Technology Facilitator at Gravely Hill Middle School in Eflin, North Carolina. Today's video is about posting a multiple choice test into Google Classroom. So for multiple choice tests in Google Classroom, I like Google Forms. So here's a Google Form. It's obviously not a World War I test, but go, bear with me. To you, This is my editing screen here. To look at it as the students see it on the web, you click on the little I. You get it, you copy it, and then we create an announcement in Google Classroom. I like to make this an announcement because there's no attachment. They're just It's just a link to a Google form. We paste it in there. So I like to just make it a simple announcement. I, I'll title it World War I Test. Now, you could start your class with a, a warm-up. You can go over some expectations. So sometimes you don't want to post it right away. So you can save it as a draft. So now you've told the students everything you need to tell them. You go into the draft and you post it. And now it is live and the students simply click through and they are working on their multiple choice exam. So the period or block ends and you had an absent student. Well, in that case, you simply go and delete it. And then whenever you want that student to make up the test, you simply take the URL, copy it, and email it to them. And that's how I would handle a multiple choice assessment. Uh, if I'm adding an essay, then I'm probably going down here and I'm going to create an assignment with a Google Doc with the instructions and then they type it there. That's how I would make the essay for the test. But anyway, that's multiple choice testing using Google Forms and Google Classroom.